What's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another episode of Talk and Moments. Today, I'm smiling like this because I am definitely having a chat with my girl crush. Honestly, <laughs> she's one of the sexiest women alive. I kid you not. Adida me! Girl, I tell you this all the time. If I was a man, no, even not even as a man, as a woman, if I was into women, girl, I'm a... Don't worry, you can still ask me. Use this ring. To uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just supposed to. <laughs> you like, to just I'm just to you are one damn <laughs> Might as sexy. well. So, girl, yes, I've been around the world, <laughs> seen different things, met with different people, but no one compares to, to you. Me. I did that, me sugar, I honey, know. boo. Can I just have the courtesy of spending the rest of your life yeah, with you? Yeah, I said yes. <laughs> I love it. You are one. Oh bombshell. I mm. fancy the pants of you. I can feel the sexual energy in here, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, you say that all the time, it's okay. I know, you but when we're together, I'm chicken out. I'm out. <laughs> chicken yeah. out. Because you actually, not she many people leave me words. speechless, but you're one of them, actually. Just <laughs> watching day. you is like, and I remember one time we went to, do you remember when we went to get joints massages? Yeah. Do you remember? Yes, and I do. We should do that. Yeah, like we should do that again. You look as good with clothes on as you do with clothes off. Honestly, just, <laughs> so I did not just telling you, girl. Just oh my god, telling you, girl. I was just like, Oof, okay, okay, I- it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap that any day, any time. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's the day. If I catch you one night, all drunk. Don't make me a baby mama again, please. Girl, but I can't get you. I've already done. I'm already d- d- yeah, but I wouldn't with that leave right you. Now. If I, if I go with you. I just remember when Tiwa was like, if I were a guy, the number of baby mamas I have by right now. <laughs> I swear. Girl, Crazy. no, I wouldn't leave you. We would do life together. I know, right? I mean, if I got in there. I need those know. promises. But nowadays, everybody's just talk. Girl. Talk and no do. Ah, sis. I, I like, hope you are not, not one of those. No, honey, boo. Let's, 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 let's even start there. <laughs> Honestly, I was watching this podcast. I know there are yeah. loads of them out there recently yeah. of these high-valued men Mm. who sits around podcasts and bash women nonstop, talking about what women should be like, what women should not be like. And there was one particular episode that I watched that, you know, talked about single women and how lonely and, you know, single women must be miserable. And I sat back and I thought, I know I'm not miserable. They even go as far as leaving comments under my pictures. Now, people are always like, oh, time is going. Oh my God, you're so desperate for a man. Oh, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to hit my girl up. In we have to have this chat. Because I know we're not miserable. Do, do we look miserable? As in, I know we get, we get up to <laughs> massages no, together. I mean, that is apart from that. Trust yeah. me, no. And then no. It, it, it just makes me wonder how the world and society views the single woman. You know, if you're single at a certain age, it's almost like, oh my God, yeah. oh, there's something yeah. wrong with her. Yeah. And many people are pressured into getting into all sorts of crazy situations yeah, in the absolutely. name of not wanting to be alone. I like being alone. Yeah. And I'm sure I'm not alone. Yeah. Do you enjoy you your, your me time? Yeah, just this, you know, this conversation just reminds me of this one time I was speaking with my aunt and, of course, older generation. Yeah. And she said to me, oh, you know, um, it's better for a woman to have been married once that never have been married in mm. the eyes of society mm. that, you know, it would seem like she's a bit more serious. Mm. At least marry her and divorce yeah. than not marry at yeah. all. Oh, no, I, I I get that. People forget that. I think what what I would agree with your aunties, I would say in this world society, in this society today, it's better for a woman to have a child. It's a child because I've been married once, but they still drag my ass. People don't even remember that I was but married. But that child, don't they call us baby mamas? We they say... Oh, they, no, you people are better. Say, eh, eh, what is going on? Do you know what I on? get every day? <laughs> Our time is going, just one born one. <laughs> just, even guys. What is going like, on? Guys meet me these days and they think that that's the only thing missing in my life. I have guys who are talking to me that will be like, don't you want to have a baby? No, but some women actually don't want children. I have a few friends who actually don't want children. Want children. And there's nothing all. wrong with that. They I don't want like, them. At least they know. That that's yeah. what they don't want. I want so, to have kids. Yeah. It just hasn't happened yeah. for me yet. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But then I feel like it's when you meet the quality of men you meet lately, sometimes they think like that's the only thing missing in your life. And then they prompt. Do you know how many people have promised me babies? Oh, they feel like uh, with sperm banks all over. Now nah, you uh, can't even pick the race of the child you want. Girl. <laughs> if you want a mixed race, you can't even go abroad and just, you know, there's surrogates everywhere. This is not an issue oh, no, anymore. I, I have niggas who would say to me, 
oh, let's have a baby together. Girl, when I now try to tell them that I missed my period one month, hey, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> hello, are you still <laughs> there? Oh, <laughs> You talked on promise and failing kind of guys with, you know, come into our lives and say so many things. And I was saying to someone the other day that the timeline for dating these days, before you say maybe like you meet a guy, but yeah, three months, he's still doing welcome for you. You know that welcome face when yeah, a guy meets you? Yeah, the sweetest Flowers, face. The sweetest. Waking you up in Enjoy the morning, that face. Anything you want. You want this? I got it. I got it. And then in... Those days, they will give you at least maybe three, four months before you start seeing the bad behavior. But question, do you think it's the same for girls, with girls? Do you think we kind of change as time goes by towards our men? I don't think so. I, I, don't I think Let so. me tell you what I think. I feel like a woman is an incubator. And I feel like a woman, you feed off what you put into yeah. that. Yeah. You, you know yes, what I mean? You absolutely. give a woman a seed, she yeah. gives you a child. Yeah. You give a woman a house, she gives she you a home. home. You go, so I often feel like a lot of women, if they're not interested... It's because of something you're doing. Oh, from the beginning. Women yeah. are now of the yeah. person where they can tell a man, yeah. I just want to yeah. just have sex with mm-hmm. you. They don't need to do the whole shebang yeah. of a relationship. Yeah. So that's why I say I don't think it's the same with women. But with guys, they almost feel like they have to say everything you want to hear to mm. get you to now finally get to a place. Yeah, because they're hunters after all. So I guess... We are there. Yeah, but times have changed, girl. You don't necessarily have to tell a woman you need to wife her to get have what to you lie want. Again. Like don't you don't even need to. It's unnecessary. Just oh, I know. Oh, no, but you know, in a weird way, they kind of know that we still like to hear these things. I mean, women are wait now. <laughs> women we like to hear not all women at this point. She at this point mm. nearly points a year. I like to hear it. Doesn't mean I believe it. It's two different things. But don't be telling me. Okay, well, well the sweet nonsense. You must be telling it. Doesn't mean I believe it. But, but when, when, when we is like taking to it too far? I think when they're obviously, I mean, they're like you said, there's the sweet nonsense of just, you know, you're beautiful and but I feel like when you start lying, like you are lying. I know someone about who, certain things. I know someone who's dating. You're a lying, guy. you're deceiving her. Yeah, then you're crossing the line. I know someone who was dating a guy who said he was single and they were in this full relationship for about six, seven months. And one evening she gets a call from a wife who says, you've been seeing no, my husband. Now that one's a complete no-no. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like with the way things are these days, this is what I always say to guy, my guy friends. You know that you can just be upfront from the beginning, right? If a girl's going to date you or sleep with you, or women are now also bold enough to say, I just want sex. There are women who meet a guy and be like, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm dealing with this, this, this. I'm, this is a part of my life. And that- you know, it's not fair. You're damaging everyone. Because then you realize it becomes a chain reaction, yeah? Now you've hurt her. She's, it's going to be so easy for her to hurt the next person. And it just goes on. That's what's happening now. We are all crazy. <laughs> Everybody's all roaming the streets now. We are crazy. It's true. That's what's happening. It's okay, like, we're getting, well... I'll speak for myself. I'm getting numb. Mm. Yeah, I feel mm. numb. I think when I've, 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 yeah, I've when it comes there. to these things, I'm like numb. Have you, you been know? to therapy? No. I have. We were just talking about that. I have. Like you, I, yeah, I yeah. feel like maybe at I feel some like point. I'll tell you my experience. I was also leaving, you know, focusing on other things. Work yeah, was dumb, yeah. numbing me. This yeah. still relationship, not me. That numbed me. And I was just like on. <laughs> yeah. And then my coping mechanisms died on me. Mm, and one morning see. I woke up and thought, you know what? I had nothing else to give. I was so cynical that if somebody should say I like you, I'll be like, <laughs> right there and then. <laughs> okay. In front of him. Which formula you won't bring? Oh my I don't God, see this. No. I don't see this. I don't see you this. I don't see that. like that. So therapy kind of helped me heal from yeah. past baggage. Yeah. And I encourage everyone to, to, to do this. But then to talk about back it. to your question. It's easy for us to put ourselves through therapy, but the people who don't even think they have a problem. I wonder, Mm -hmm. for instance, if, you know, men who do all this lying and promising and do this, if they think that what you're doing is wrong. Does it cross your mind sometimes that you sit back and think, I actually want to know how this person thinks. I think they do somewhere. Mm. Do you think they have those moments where they think I did that girl wrong? Yes, I feel like they do. See, at the end of the day, we're all human. We all know what is right from wrong. There's mm. no baby yet. Mm. We know. It's just that many of them are selfish. Mm. Or do you think that the fact that there are too many women out there you know, would not let a man actually sit back and think, ooh, because let's not even lie. What the Holy Book said is happening now, sis. The seven-to-one conversation. 
own Shelley. Own Shelley, The right. only book did say that at the end of time, there shall be seven women to one man. And they shall beg the man, just let us have your name. We shall feed ourselves, clothe ourselves. It don't they happen. Oh, Allah, Do you wow. think that maybe that's what makes these guys not have any sort of... Because there's always... When you are sitting there, Adidami, with your standards, he must do... Oh, I know, me one as well. There's one sis. Oh, there's two babe there. No, you no, forget. This sis is a proper sis, so. Not two babe, bo. MD somewhere, who is just looking for his last name. What did the Bible say? I can feed myself. She can feed herself. I can. Th- All I just need is just companionship. How is the man going to value you? Who is sat there thinking? But how is that even this? companionship? I don't even. Yeah, that's how is that companionship? But it is in some people's book. It is. No. Let me tell you something. How? Some people believe that you get to a certain level of success, and you know you can't even date up. You have to almost like date down because even the successful men don't want all successful women. It's true. They think they do. But they, they don't. don't. The reality yeah. of being with a yeah, successful that's man. True. That's true. They think they do. Like, oh, I want a self-made woman. I want an independent woman. I want a go-getter. But half the time, they they can't really deal with it. Yeah, so that's where you yeah. find those women who yeah. you find as accomplished and you'll be wondering to yourself, yeah. why is she even dating this guy? Yeah. And in her mind, she just, whoa, brother, cha, she, when I get home, I can talk to somebody yeah. at night. Yeah, yeah. She, I can share, say, okay, there's somebody that I'm sure is asking, hey, can I do this? Can she I do this? She means if you can't even talk. If you can't even talk, you are even on the right path. You chose the right person. I know some people, like I had a friend who was married for like, well, maybe about eight, mm-hmm. nine years. Mm-hmm. For six years out of those nine years, they slept in different beds. No, Why? this is that I know her personally. Why though? There's, there was no issue. Like, they're strangers in, and... That's what I'm saying. I don't... That is not companionship. Mm. Just give me your last name. Yeah. Why do yeah. I need your last yeah. name? For what? Because there are many... Men, you know, when I saw someone drop a comment on one of my pictures saying, oh, you must be miserable, you're desperate for a guy. No. It made me laugh because I realized that there are many people who are married who are hmm. as lonely. Even if not only lonely, you knew. Yeah. Yes. I'm not lonely. I have yeah. you. I call you sometimes. Yeah. We can go on holiday. We travel. Yeah. And I think the perks of being a single successful woman for me is I don't have to report to anyone. Do you know what I mean? I can pick up my bags today. If we say, babe, let's go to Dubai. We just go and have to check with ourselves. I don't have to be explaining to anybody. They'll start calling you. Hi, oh, God. They'll be, ah. They'll be calling you, calling you, calling me. Where are you? What are you doing? What are you? I mean, it's nice, you know, but it's only nice when yeah. you are genuinely yeah. into each yeah. other. Not because I want your last name. Yeah. But would you give marriage a chance again? I think so. Me too. I think I would. Did you like being married? I did. I did too. I loved it. I did. I loved I'll tell it. You, I'll, I'll tell you what I, what I, what I explained to people about marriage. I'm like, the most craziest oh feeling ever. I remember there were days in my marriage that I would, you know, go to work and yeah. hustle. And when things are going to shit and all I can think is, oh, I can't wait I just to want home. to go home. I just want to just talk to this person. It's and just beautiful. Be like, no, honestly. This is, this is what happened today. <laughs> my day is. Day, day. And when you get the right person, that, it is. Damn it, there were days that all I wanted to think is, God, you hate me. How did Why I did I get into this? Oh, Lord. How did I yeah, get obviously. This yeah. Guy? So I always tell people that it's like yeah. the relationship you have with your siblings, yeah? yeah? It's Where like, someday, yeah, it's like yeah. any relationship when at all, yeah. anything in life. So what do you think happens to, to when you when we talk about like the case which you raised where two people now end up sleeping in separate rooms? Yeah. What do you think is the issue there? Because I see marriage as a very beautiful institution if you get it right. And I think that if you get it right, it's also relative. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there are good days, there are bad days. Well, what would make two people who are supposed to be together for seven years, sleep in separate room for six out of the seven years. No, that one, there's a foundational problem. Something, <laughs> something, whatever that's fa- foundational, spiritual, there's something terribly off. Mm. Mm. Terribly mm. off. Mm. It's too much. Mm. Like, okay, I mean, like you said, there'll be, you know, good disagreements, and there'll be good days, yeah. there'll be days of not talking to you, but six years? Mm. No, for real, but, I know this. Like, I know her. Personally. But you know, I can actually be in a marriage where we don't live... No, no, that's room. different now. That's mm. different. Okay, let's say your husband is boxing you in the nights when he's sleeping, or he snores and it gets to no, you, or whatever. Healthy... Or you want your own space. Some people want their space. I think a healthy space. You helps. read a book at night and then you fall asleep and you want your space. That's fine. Mm-hmm. They were not in the same room because they were not in speaking terms for seven years. How do you keep Malice with someone you, for seven years? I know years? her personally. You keep Malice with someone for seven years. Uh, uh, How did she not even get the urge to want to talk to the guy? She be talk about the alone. <laughs> you. 
Okay, wait. If you but, you then, but then, but then, then I know you're not the one. But in my mind, I'm thinking. So then, why is she still there? It cannot work for. See, it can't. Work. Are we talking or not? No, like it can't work. So why is she still there? So that people don't know. So that she remains married yeah, in the eyes the problem, of everyone though. else. Do you but feel like herself. the Do you feel like the pressure from what other people think is what makes a lot of people stay in situations that they know? Because let's not even lie. But Tokyo is hard work, walking away. I agree. Walking out of a marriage I agree. is hard. There's so much to consider. You know this. I agree. It takes strength. I agree. <laughs> a rare kind, kind of, of strength. strength. And even to when you think you've done it. That I will not stay here. I'm yeah. Done. Yeah. And even when you think you're ready, yeah. you have flashbacks. There are moments where I, I don't I can only speak for my situation. I remember there were times when I was so sure that I was leaving this marriage. And yeah. there was a day I actually had to pack on Admiralty Road. Because I'd had a lingering headache for three weeks. And I didn't even know. The headache was so bad that I packed and I cried for one hey. for oh, an hour. God, because I worst. thought to myself, did I make a mistake? Wow. You know, divorce is something that you thought always happened to other people and not you. And you're like, damn, I'm actually going to, you know, bear this title called divorce. Again, that part of society, because you have aunties and you have people who are like, ah, but me, maybe I'm different. All those things didn't bother me. Hey, he bothered me for a bit. He and then I was you. even dealing with the public me. opinion as well. He bothered me. I have to be honest. He bothered me for mm. a bit because I had aunties who would be like, you know, you don't leave a marriage because of that. It's a small something. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, ha, yeah. how am I going to, you know what I mean? So just going by what you said about it being tough, yeah. people don't give enough credit to people yeah. who actually decide that this situation is not for me and I'm walking away. They are faced with the harsh criticism. They are faced with family, even. And then... A lot of women are not independent enough to, for instance, you had kids, you've had three, four, five kids, you're thinking, where will I start with these children? But I feel like, the, I, and I don't want to sound ignorant, um, and this is not trying to disrespect anybody who's in that situation. I feel like a lot of women tell themselves that a lot. I feel like when I was leaving my marriage, I didn't have money somewhere. Yeah. No, I didn't have children. So mm. maybe if I had a kid, that might have changed yeah. my situation. But I, I, I particularly say this because I know a lot of people end up being domestically abused because they think they don't yeah. have a choice and how would they live with children? See, they're your kids. If your kids will drink Gary Small, they will drink Gary Small. <laughs> Things are never and always... You, and you need to take care of yourself to be able to even take care of them. Yeah. You need to be in the right state of mind to be I, able to I take agree. care of them. But I, I just feel like the, the reason why I would always say things like when there's life, there's hope yeah. is because well, I feel like true. so many people have now ended up in there where they said, because they're not financially free and they have three children, they can't leave this man. And one day is their coffin that we're putting mm. into the ground. And guess what? Those three kids, I always tell all my kids that have, all my friends that have kids, I've said this to you yeah. before, God is the owner of every mm-hmm. child. Absolutely. You're only but a guardian. My parents died when I was eight. And did I Absolutely. sit there to even know what life was going to be? Yeah, somebody would be like, yeah, you were adopted by people who had money or whatever. And I'm thankful for that. But you could have also gone left. Why am I saying this? God is the orchestrator of every single individual on this earth. So as a parent, you're only but a guardian. Do you understand? What if you lost all your job? What if the man lost all his job and there's no money? When women tell me that because they're all in my DM, oh, I have two children, how would I feel? I'm like, what if he lost all his job and he lo- and money wasn't oh, wow. coming? Would you not still feed? I feel like I'm not advocating for divorce, but I'm saying that if that situation is not serving you any good mentally, there's no need for you to try and rationalize how you would do it. We all did not know how we're going to do it. We all did not know how we're going to do it. Did you have a stash of cash somewhere when you were leaving your marriage? Actually, I did. Oh, wow. You were so lucky. Tell me about it. Yeah, I don't saved. play with money. I always have. <laughs> so what, you had, you, did you know you were going to leave? No. Um, I was ready. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you Mentally. had started saving. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, by nature, I okay. save. Okay. I'm the kind of person that always takes aside for the rainy day. I hate. That's one thing. I do not, not want to have money. Mm. Now, I'm not saying, you know, yeah, figures, yeah, but yeah, at yeah. least enough. I yeah. never want to be in a situation where... I have to depend on someone. Yeah. For the basics, at mm. least. Maybe, mm. you know, but the basics. Mm. So, yeah, I, I wasn't down and out as why I had mm. nothing or nowhere to go. Mm. And honestly, I, I don't think I'll ever be in that situation. I'm I sorry, think in my situation, I'd known, I'd seen signs... 
in that situation that ah, I I think it I made might a mistake. Be heading, yeah. I didn't think we were heading there. I just kind of thought I think I made I I think this was a mistake. And there were moments where I thought, oh, it's so good. And moments I thought, ah. And then what I would always say to myself to encourage myself is what I is what we just talked about. I'll tell myself back then, but where would I start from? I've been with this guy for so long. Who would look at me? Just manage. You won't get that bad. Maybe it's just a bad time. You've seen worse in your relationship. But I feel like I tell people that God did not want me in that situation because by the time that God was ready for me to pull move, you out, that's eh, the same thing that happened. To I couldn't me say. Well. This That's was the same what thing that was to this, me. you know before you be thinking I don't have money. Yeah. It's not like I had money stashed out like you. Yeah. I didn't have yeah. cash, but then doors start opening at that yes. time. And I was like, it's like everything's just working for you. At that moment, yeah. I started working for this company and they were paying me so much money weekly to do to sponsor talking moments on yeah. YouTube back then. Yeah. And that was literally how I found money to even Say, get let me by, get it, please. To even start moving. To, yeah, yeah, yeah because I because it's as if when it happened, it was like, if you say you don't have money now, yeah. this is where you're going to die. You know what I mean? But then when I look at the dating pool, are you encouraged these days? When you see the dating pool? I've not even... <laughs> So can you let me say what's in my head? Please, you know, we have these conversations. But like, one thing I know though, Jesus is still Lord, he's on the throne. He will still do it for us. Yeah. But you know, it's like, I think we're single not because we don't, we don't want a relationship. I think we're single yeah, because we I haven't found... I think that's found... it. So I won't settle. Like, yeah, you know, I think that's the word. I was saying to someone, you know, I, I met this guy, I went for a friend's party and we were talking and he was divorced as well. You know, he just says to me, you look like trouble. I can't tell you why your marriage is not last. You look like trouble. I was like, me, I was just laughing. Was, I was like, no, actually, on the contrary, you know. So he was, you know, we got talking and I was like, I have, I won't say standards, but mm-hmm. I have expectations. Mm-hmm. Every woman should. And he said, oh, that's the first um, red flag. No one should have any expectations of anyone that they're with. You know, we're all human beings. We all make mistakes. And I said, how can anyone live their life not having any expectations. expectations. Oh, no, Even let me, of yourself. Let me tell you what I said. Where that guy said this, that's where I am right now. Me with no expectation with any more. Let me tell you what will shock me if you actually behave yourself. I know, right? I've seen it all. Oh. <laughs> now what he said, I agree. I don't have zero. <laughs> when I meet somebody, zero Zero expectation. Me or TF. Expectation. See, it will hurt you. Shake where we have uh, uh, no, no now. See, but they are good men. Now they are good. Let me tell you. I'm sure they are. Shout out to the good men out there. I'm not saying they're not good men. They must let, be let great me tell you what someone told me three weeks ago. You would think you just don't be coming. I have like five <laughs> books inside of me. If I tell you people what my eye has seen. In this dating scene, my sister, you go say, John, give me one chapter there. Yeah. <laughs> one chapter. Liars, liars, betrayers. Do you know, let me tell you what, how bad it is there. I can't remember when last I actually opened up to someone to let the person really get to know but me. But that takes time. See, it's because I, that's what I'm saying. Talking stage is over. We go from talking stage to stranger. Talking stage to stranger. I, I know they graduate past talking stage because... Where it's, they are mad. They are mad. <laughs> I, I find niggas who think it's a good idea to be oh with Tokyo Yeah, I know. And that's what they're coming that's for. That's another scary part. Though. So, because of what we do. Yeah, because of what we do. It that's also is really scary harder. as well. Pastor Paul you said this people... to me a long time ago. Shout out to Pastor Paul. Yay. He just said to me, he goes, you know, you carry such a huge light and I worry for you, Tokyo, because the light attracts all sorts. It's true. I didn't know what he meant. It's true. Sister girl. Motiri, Ojo Motiri, Kasa, Nenu Akuri. You're going to trust that now. That's me. I don't know. Pele, Pele. You know, see if I can say, she and you better do. You want to talk about my lawyer because my sister girl. Ah. So that expectation that man told you. I know. I believe him. you believe him, Abi. I don't have any. When I meet people these days, I have zero. Because you it's know what? You know what maybe makes me the, laugh. Maybe it's better to live like that. Actually. Girl, let me tell you what makes me laugh. The way they want to frog jump when they meet me. I got niggas who sell me dreams every day. <laughs> my friend, oh my god! My Why are you talking as if you don't know how for it? Don't I call you? I'm talking funny. 
The one that will promise. <laughs> so what does he talk and call like this by 2 a.m.? Mm. I just I just said my son, mommy's coming, okay? This may take a while. Even me, I feel, one of the times I called you, which I was driving, you that know? story he said that you back on the road, that was me. That time. I remember that time that you called now. That you had to go and go to move a whole bottle of champagne. My friend! My friend! Ah. I oh. remember people see like us, they think that, oh, it you're so fine. Well, you have so a pool of men. Men just exhausting. throw themselves around you. That's not the really issue. Is the issue is actually even deciding that <laughs> I would be open to this, but I'm afraid. Yeah, because you don't even get, yes, yes. Because again, because of what we do, you can't open up so much. Yes, because how many can't. people will walk it's around true. with a part of you? So when you're even like, ah, word. How many people? Oh my goodness. How many people do you want to say, this is me, single mother, this is me, expressing my, this is me? When they now sit down and tell me your matter and tell me one day, they'll say you're mad. So these days, what your friend told you, sis, that's why we're closing. <laughs> that's discussing. what it is. Have zero expectations of human beings. Friends, Relationships, oh I have zero. I used to be like you, where I'll think because of the kind of person that I am. Yeah, I, I just expect that. I just feel like you know, I. It's a different thing if you're not meeting my expectations, but I must be expecting something of you before. I, I, it's like living life saying, I don't know what I'm going to do today with my life. Even we have expectations of ourselves, mm, you know, mm, the dreams that we have and mm. the goals that we want to achieve. And we might not get there, but, you know, we have a vision and we work with that. Mm -hmm. So it's like picking someone off the streets and saying, I don't expect anything of you, just be. I mean, I mean, uh, this is what experience has made me. <laughs> like, I, I, I hear how... <laughs> and drama. You, um, oh, how optimistic I sound. Girl, uh, I I'm hear. still sleeping. No, 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 no. Okay, I hope okay. that you're. I hope that you meet someone and you have Don't this expectation. Don't say that! And they meet the way you're saying it, you're no, making me feel crazy. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I really want you to meet someone <laughs> oh, who will meet all the expectations yeah. that you have as you do them, vice versa. Yeah. But I feel like... I've just, from my dating history and just what I see in yeah. society today, yeah. I feel like it's safer for me to have zero expectations because when you now, when I open up myself and expect and you let me down, I'm left with cleaning up your mess and I'm done with cleaning up the mess for a lot of people. This is not where you keep withdrawing, withdrawing without making any deposits. I'm done with, I'm no longer a rehabilitation center for sick yeah. men. I'm no longer trying to make you get help yeah. because I, I have yeah. gotten the help that I yeah. need. So where I'm at, it's better for me not to expect so that when you show your hand, I I'm can just surprised. look at you and be like, hmm. but does that really happen? It you does. do feel hurt, don't you? If, when course. that happens. Of like... course. But then I think it's quicker. You, you, you easily, when you remind yourself that, oh boy, all of this is being yeah. maintained yeah. by me. At yeah. the end of the day, I am the temple. Yeah, yes, I am the absolutely. healer. I am the one yes. who would feed myself at 3 a.m. in the morning absolutely. if I did and it doesn't pick up. Or that, you know, I am the one who has to wake up early in the morning to film and yeah. I can't let somebody's your life be run because yeah. they will arrow. You know when we used to hear those stories when we were young about aunties of ours don't, don't, that ended up in arrow for those is mental yeah, arrow, is like, yeah. because of man. Yeah. It's possible. No. <clears throat> like, I'm sure if you count... If you have 10 that, women there, mm -hmm. maybe seven or seven. eight is men that put seven them there. Seven or eight, but nine and a half. And what made them get there? They trusted me, man. <laughs> My friend, thank you so much for coming by. This has been such welcome. a love. This is like Absolutely. awesome. Is it done? No! I know, because they've been holding up the time and saying to me that we have to be out of here. But this is literally us uh, on the phone. I'm telling you, we can, on talk, the phone, we can talk for like five mm, hours. And then just be there, just sing. Just sing. I mean, I'm crying. To you just, now. I've not yet cried on, no, on the... Well, I have. You but, have now. No, we haven't cried together. We still need to cry together. Oh, We've okay. cried separately. You, you have cried you on, on my last birthday. But we need to cry together. Do you remember together. my last birthday? Last birthday. Ah! Oh my God. Yes, I do. We need to cry together. <laughs> That's three friendship. Uh, so okay, don't cry. Man, you be our friend, you yeah, know don't cry. Why our own case like this? <laughs> you know what? Let's get on the plane tomorrow. But yes. that's why I like about us, <gasps> yeah. too. You know what I mean? Yeah. That we can cry those tears, yeah. or we cry the tears in Ibiza, yeah. or cry the tears in like, and we pray together. Dubai. You know, it's yeah. crazy. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, nice to have a sisterhood yeah. with you, yeah, and absolutely. I appreciate the, the role you play in my life. Like oh. we might not even talk for so long, but <laughs> yeah. Bible study. Yes, so. and even when I'm about to give up on someone, I did that means the one that is like, ah, you always like to create scenarios, Shah. I know. What's it, what's it, so I, I like know. How nice I'm always giving excuses. Your mind is, even for someone who's been through a divorce and been through yeah. all the trauma that you've been through, yeah. I like that you still look at the world through colored lenses. Yeah. It's one of the things I admire about you. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I was like that, but girl. Mm. I, I know. 
I know. I just don't have it in me to have people disappoint me again. So before you I disappoint know. me, as Ashaka said, yeah. before you use me, I go use, use my. <laughs> sure, yeah. So before you go to my disappoint, I, know, I read, yes. because it's not me. Because they it's can't true. want you mental. It's tiring. It's exhausting. You know? But then I do hope we get our fairy tale Absolutely. one day. Because I, I, I definitely we believe will in love. hear of it. Amen. It shall be televised. It shall be reported. <laughs> when we find that man. But where do you think the man will come from? Maybe Mars? Because I don't think that I don't think there's a nigga from me here. <laughs> Nigeria, I don't know. Ah, ah you see this West Africa. Mo, Mo, they really like Oyibo. Oh, like Mo, Oyibo. Mm-hmm. Mo, really. I've tried. She, they, my sister is married to I love my brother in law, but I've tried to <laughs> you like them black. Like, show more dark skin. Black come with problem. Black is <laughs> black is for evil. You know, dark child. Oh. <laughs> Devilish black. I want devilish black. And the little one with the sprinkle on. You have a problem. You like it. You have a problem. You no, but you know, funny. I even tried dating a light-skinned niggas as well. I've tried. I know. I've never. Because we, we are the same spec. I also like, like, you walk in the room, like, you must be, you must be dark. Like, yeah. and there's nothing like, you know, dark guy in bed with yeah, you and you must be dark. And it's just like, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I leave for those moments. But these days, oh, I know what they don't show me. Yeah, so even if you don't have six packs. I say if I see six packs, now once you come with me, to me with six packs, I'm already Let me tell you the one that is even wary of. Can you tell you, raise your shirt. Do you have six packs? Uh, no. Dami. I say I have six packs. Let me tell you the one that I run with. Wahala. Accents. Timasibo, hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, you are home. You are home. Because you down, Ujo. I like those local those guys. Those local, you I mean. Because... All those only both speaking boys. It's one, All they have to tell is my father. Do you know who my dad is? Yeah. Who is that? Mm-hmm. No, he I can't hear you. Walk. He can't walk anymore. Me, I'm not rather... at this age. <laughs> Maybe in secondary school, not at this and age. And they use it's that... the content now we are looking they at, use... not the container they use that anymore. Thing to chop me in the past age. You see, ah, yeah, 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 London boy. Yeah. London boy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you fall oh, for his accent, fall for his dark looks, fall for everything. I'm like, hmm. Never again. But let's try and do better to one another. I mean, yeah. And for no, women, I'm, I'm sure yeah. there are guys out there who yeah, also have absolutely. their horrid are, stories as of well. Of course. I just think it's the world. Jesus needs to come back now. So we can even wrap it. Let's just wrap go. Up. There's nothing we are doing here. Let's wrap it up and go. I like so much. The more everything is expensive. Everywhere is just jaga jaga. Let's go. Let's just go. <laughs> so maybe we'll be boots again. But if you come back let's to the world go. again, what would you like? To, would you like to come as a woman? Or a man? Do you think I, about it sometimes? A woman. I love being a woman. I love being a woman too. I swear, I wouldn't trade being a woman. I love being a woman. I love being a woman. I actually I will come back as a woman. woman. Yeah. Because, <laughs> ah, I love being a woman. I love being a woman. <laughs> a man. Hey, do not be asking me for money. No. Wait, was a man, do, you, do you think I would do women as badly as men have done me if I was a man? Because you know how they say sometimes when you die and you come back, you come back as something else? Some people believe you come back as an, you know, Animal a tree, animal yes, tree, or whatever. Come back as an animal. Um, if I came back as a man, would I be a good guy? Ah, it depends. See, everything that everyone is exhibiting now is as a result of what has happened to us. Mm. It's a chain reaction. Mm. So maybe if you came as a man, you would meet one girl from school, a uh, university year two, and you get married, and it works. It works for some people. One person should be with one person for the rest of their life. If it works for you, yes. All this experimenting to ah, uh, 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 well, I think that's a conversation for another yeah. day. Because sometimes I think about people who've been together for like sixty years, and I'm like, how do they do it? Sixty years. But when just... you hear of relationships like that, if one person die, one week, two weeks, the other person has followed. True. It's true. Like it parents, happens all actually. the time. Yes. You know, my my parents always joked about dying together, and they died together. I was a kid, but I remember my dad. I, I think maybe the problem with me also is maybe I, I, I the standard my dad left behind. Yeah, I think that's true. how I expect yes. all men to be. Because yes. I grew up in a home where, shout out yes. to Caleb, he's in the grave now, but mm. my daddy was a man. Like, yes. this, my mom, I don't even remember if my mom had a job so much. I know she was a teacher, but I don't remember my mom doing much because my father was Always a bishop provided. of our home. Mm. Um, my dad drove his second car at night as a taxi till he could find a driver so we could go to private school. My dad always checked that the doors were locked every, every hmm. single night. Every time my mom changed her hair, I was eight. My father noticed. 
every day, he got back from work at 4.30 every day at 8. And my mom is out there trying to pin her hair, wear a nice dress just to welcome him. And, and I remember, the first time I saw Shadea doing my life was my mom. She had braided the front and did braids. But my father noticed and just said, ah, you look so pretty. He hey. noticed every so single So how can we not thing. look for that? Yeah. And they always joked about dying together. Like my father would tell her, if I'm no longer here, can't you do this? And she's like, eh, if you die today, I'm going to follow we'll you. We'll be buried together. Oh my and goodness. That's and what look happened. at what happened. Yeah. yeah so maybe that's where my fairy tale yeah. wants. Yeah. Maybe that's where it comes from. But people have used pain to raise my eye of that. But I love you so much, Dami. Absolutely. Thank you so much for honoring my no, uh, request always. and doing always. this. I thought about having this conversation. The only person, because I know how we talk. Yeah. And I wanted to let the people like a little bit into what it's like. And yeah. what it's like with Dami and I, because we might not, people don't even know that we're people that guys. No, no. But we, we, this is one of the girls that I know that if I call at 2 a.m. in the morning, she, she'll pick up on the third ring. And I, yeah, I'd literally tell her son, I'm coming back soon, don't worry. And then she'll be, if I want to stay on the phone for five hours, I did that means day. So, Ore, what should we do? <laughs> do you know that? Ask her, I know. Ore, so kill a man, she <laughs> What do we do? <laughs> and this one, she's not even patient. She just wants to, you know what? I'm not doing it again. No, no. Nah. Wait, we are calm down. Ah, it's it. not that. Let's talk. Okay, how about this? this, this yeah, but this. when you have all the advice you give, does it not still end up where yeah, I but see? But just try. You know what I always say? Just try. At least when you try, you will know I tried. Ah. I did that I for 13 years. I don't have time to wait. <laughs> well, guys, look out for the next episode of Talk and Moment. You never know who my guest is going to be. And I can <laughs> promise you that it's going to be explosive as well. I love you, Adidami. I love you more. <laughs>